All right. Time for some more uh, <laughs> weapon customization. I was just looking over the assault rifles here because there are a lot of them. And uh, I don't know what to choose. Now, I could go with a um, AR-style weapon like the uh, Mark 18 Custom here. But uh, let's do a little... Uh, let's do things a little differently. Since, uh, you know, we already have a AR-style weapon represented with the uh, M4 carbine left hook. Let's try a uh, Russian weapon this time. So now I've got... Um, couple things that I can look at here. Obviously the AK-101, which is uh, pretty cool. Or the, um, well this is not quite an AK, but it's close. The AK-5C, AK-74N. Um, let me just see. Hmm. I mean, it was either between, uh, it was either between the AKM or the AKM Tactical. Now, a lot of people probably, uh, you know, kind of, kind of shun this because this is, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of a plasticky kind of, you know, gun. <laughs> well, this has got the glorious wood furniture on it, which looks really good. Although... The uh, pistol grip is, uh, I think, Bakelite, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people like the uh, AK just the way it is. So, uh, you know, that's a thing. But I really do, you know, I, 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 I do kind of like the AKM. Tactical. <laughs> it's uh, different looking. You know, a lot of people don't really like it, but, uh, yeah. All right, so what else is there? Oh, that's the IA-2. Hmm. Oh, does this have a uh, bayonet? That's a, that's a thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I want to put a, uh, a underbarrel here, so... Let's see if I can mount this. Oh, I can. Okay. Good stuff. It's going to be a little hard, but uh, I will uh, use this. And uh, let's see. There's not much. Uh, you can't really put any... Um, or can you? That's the thing. Can you put, like, lights and lasers on this thing? If you use the real adapter... Oh, that one did not work. Use the real adapter. Huh. Should I? But they have some real good um, reflex sights for this. Especially like the Cobra. That's that's pretty nice looking right there. But, uh, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh. Should I use a uh, adapter for this? Uh, might as well. Oh. One of these. No, that's okay. Let's not use that one. I already used that one on the uh, on the Oh. This is pretty nice. I like using this. Okay. KDR. And then I'm going to stick a laser on this thing. Something, uh... Well, let's see. Hold on. Let me see if this will fit. And won't obstruct my, uh... No, it does. I'm going to remove that. Tactical laser 3. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> go back to the old tactical laser 2, huh? The old standby. Which, as it turns out, has a rail on top, so I can stick that there. And I'll just put 
this uh, baby on top. Look like one whole unit. A little laser there. Yep, there we go. Uh, where's the magazine for this? Is this it? Nope, that's not it. And uh, should I add a flashlight on this thing? Uh, let's go with a flashlight. Like that old Soviet blocky looking... Let's move it a little bit back there. I like that. And it's pretty cool, because uh, since I'm left-handed, if this were to actually, like, exist, you know, this configuration, if I had this in real life, then, you know, when I would rest it on the body, the light is, uh, you know, is out of the way. Right? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, oh, well, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's make this fit. Uh, right there. We got line up, I mean. Let's make it line up. Then. Oh, no. Like that. And then let's line it up like this. Oh, come on. Hands are shaking. There we go. Right. Looks okay. <laughs> it's probably sacrilege, but uh, where's the magazine for this? Did I uh, I throw it away? Oh, should I get the drum? No, I'll just get a regular magazine. Okay, there we go. It's a lot easier to reload an AK if you're left-handed, too. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but... Uh, Do a tactical. Okay, and uh, you know what? Let's add a suppressor to this thing. I completely forgot. <laughs> I was about to just save this thing, but... Uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what suppressor... Uh, let's try this one. Funky looking one. Looks very Russian, right? I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not too familiar with Russian weapons. But, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not because they're bad or anything. It's just that, you know, I'm not familiar with them. <laughs> I need to educate myself. And then, you know, it's not like I, I don't like them. I, I, I kind of do, you know? They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool weapons. But I just, you know... Just never really uh, got into... Got deep into it. All right. You know, some people might think it's a little bit sacrilege with all the uh, attachments and stuff. You know, they think the rifle is perfect. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to trick out some... Some of my, uh, you know, trying to trick out some, some weapons for me. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'll stick with this configuration. That in there. Uh, hopefully that's a full magazine. It's just, uh... Okay, good. All right. Oh, you know what? I really forgot. I keep forgetting... Can I put a bayonet? Oh, there it is. AK bayonet on this thing. Come on. Will it work? Will it work? It kind of does. Ah, well. That's okay. We'll just leave the bayonet out of it. But yeah. There we go. Oh, did I not fire the uh, grenade launcher? I believe I didn't. Well, I already used it, so. There we go. There's an AK for you. Just had to get one of them in there. All right, battle rifle time. Ooh. Let us choose a battle rifle. 
Hmm, what am I going to use? There's some good choices here. But, let's see. I like the uh, FN Fals. Those are pretty good. But I also like the G3s, you know? Specifically the uh, H5A1, the uh, chop version there. Hmm. Oh, another HK. Uh, another HK, huh? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, I'm thinking of going with the uh, FAL, but also we've got the, uh, the uh, SOCOM here, M1 Shorty 16, which is pretty cool. At least you know I think so. It's no uh, EBR, which a lot of people seem to want, but uh, you know Anton, uh, not really a fan of. But this, I think this is a better replacement for the EBR, <laughs> to be honest. But that's just me, you know. Whatever, a lot of people like the EBR. I'm not going to stop them from liking it. But I do like this. Although I could go with the original M14. It's select fire. Load up that 30 round magazine. Go full auto. Wow, <laughs> I like that. But, no, I mean, I'm not really uh, a full auto kind of person, so. Hmm, kind of like that. But again, I mean, I could go with the uh, Foul Tactical. It's always pretty nice. I always have a, a, a certain fondness for this. Well, the original FAL. That one. But uh, Tactical's pretty nice, too. So it's between, uh, I think, those two. Uh, of course, I can go with the uh, uh, Walther. Be a 2000, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, as much as I like Hitman, that gun is a real piece of work to operate, especially the uh, bullpup configuration. Is yeah, you know, putting a magazine back there is pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> hmm, I do like that. The um, whatchamacallit, the um. M14s have a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, a bolt release, so that when you're out, right, all you have to do is press up on the touchpad to, uh, <clears throat> oh no, what did I do that for? Hold on, battle rifle. Previous M14, 30 round magazine. So I'm really thinking of using... Again, bolt is uh, held open. Stick a new mag in there. In you go. Press up on the touchpad. Makes uh, makes things easier. I think the uh, foul does not have that, but I might be wrong. It's been a while since I used one in this game. Let me just... Oh, it does. I might be thinking of the um, the G3. So, okay. That's pretty good. Uh, I do like that this is select fire. You have a semi and full auto. Did I just use up all the ammunition there? <laughs> just uh, that for right now. I really do like this, though. <laughs> I might go with the uh, Fal Tactical. And, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's go with the attachments. Let's go with a different sort of underbarrel this time. Let's go with a uh, house key. Stick that on there. Oh, 
Come on. And then let's add a let's do uh whatchamacallit? A ACOG. Since this is a battle rifle. Alright. Hmm, maybe not an ACOG. Maybe I yeah, maybe I'd stick with it. I'll, I'll stick with it. Hmm. Just trying it out, testing it out, seeing what uh, what works. Although I think. Oh wait, hold on. Oh uh, no. I was like, I could have used the iron sights on this thing, but uh, the uh, the ACOG is a little too high. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, let me just check something here. Go back to the battle rifles. Para. Oh, it's too bad this one doesn't have rails. Whoop. Let's just throw that away. <laughs> well, you know, you kind of can use it. Right? You just aim properly. Those iron sights. <clears throat> Okay, well, all right. What kind of suppressor can I use for this? Stick with the, uh, oh, yeah, kind of like this one. I don't know about uh, lasers or lights. Uh, let's see. I'll go with a tactical flashlight now. Oh, nope, I don't think I can. That's a, I know, that's a unique kind of position for it, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's okay. Kind of like it. So, uh, again, very weird position for the flashlight, but I'll stick that on there. And the laser, if I'm going to put a laser on this thing, where am I going to put it? Huh. Maybe if I stick with the tactical laser one, I can put it here. No, that's going to be weird. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Side, underneath. Can I put it underneath? No, oh, no, I already used that spot. Ah. Oh. If I move this back. Hmm. Kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, keep missing. All right. I like that. It's pretty cool. I don't know about these exposed rails, though. Maybe I'll just keep them exposed. But, uh, yeah. Oh, forgot about this. Little, uh, house key. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'll just, uh, use that for now. I think last time my battle, my battle rifle was, um, I used last time. Let me just check. Before I deleted everything, I think it might have been the, uh, AR-10. But, you know. I don't want too many, like, ARs going on here, so... <laughs> Let's uh, switch it up this time. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the FAL. Good stuff. 
Oh, barrels in my face. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me just check the time here. See how much time we've got going. I think it says 20 minutes. I can't really see, but... Uh... All right. Anti-material. Oh, what am I going to do? All right. Well, some of these are bolt action, which... Um, you know, I already got uh, plenty of bolt actions here. So I might go with the uh, M107A1. But I'm not going to suppress it. Because, I don't know, I don't really, I don't really think you need to suppress this. Oh, this is going to be... But what I'm going to do is I am going to add a muzzle device. And I'm going to put this one on there because that is cool. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> And the scope, well, let's see. It's going to be a long-range weapon, so... Alright. 8x32. Or 12x60. Oh, which one do I want? Well, you know, I want to be like at and T. You got to reach out and touch someone. So... Although, I think the 8x32 scope's actually larger. Yeah, the, uh, so I might, I might stick with the 8x32. It's the default that comes with this. It's, uh, oh, we're going to have to snipe. Well, I'm just going to do it standing up. Oh, I missed. There we go. Let's try the uh, far distance target. Let's go with the uh, increased magnification. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, come on. This is so hard without a gun stock. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, focus. Ah, oh, I got it. I think I got it. I need a spotter. Tell me if I got it. Nope, that's not the right one. A little high. It's on the center, but it's a little high up. Oh man, this is so hard. That's why the bipod is there. Which, uh, give me this. And I think I still, nope, I don't have any more. I'm going to insert some more rounds. Oh, I had one in there. Okay, this is going to be really weird, but, uh, I'm going to try to, uh, See if I can find it here. Oh, there it is. I think that's the one. Yep. Got it. Yep. Bipod, uh, bipod always works. So, yeah. I'm not going to do much to this one. I'm not going to suppress it. I'm not going to add any fancy laser. Oh, actually. <laughs> I just got that idea. Just reminded myself. Let's stick a laser on this thing. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Oh, we'll not put a light on this. All right, that's that's a little that's a little overkill right there. I'm not gonna go up close to the uh, the enemy and and shoot them, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it from far away. So scan that in. Let's uh, get rid of that. And finally, we got some bolt actions. Got a lot to choose from. 
So, uh, right. Let's see. What am I going to use here? I'm not really a big fan of bolt action, so, um, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a very hard choice. Whoops. Did I just uh, spawn another mag? I'll, you know what? Let me reload the scene. He's got all these weapons going around. All right, bolt action. What am I going to use? Hmm. The Delisle Carbine. That's 45 ACP, you know? And we want something a little bigger. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's V98. Oops, wait a minute. <laughs> what did I do that for? Uh, or the AWM. Does this have a uh, bipod? Uh, doesn't look like it. I don't remember if it did. But that's okay. I don't know. I mean, uh, kind of like the FR F2. Because it has a bipod. But, uh, that's okay. Can't do much about it. You can't do much to customize it. The M40A1 would be nice, but you can't change the scope out. So I think I might have to go with the uh, AWM. And it's 338 Lapua, which is a pretty big round. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the uh, 2x12 scope here. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I'll put a laser down. <laughs> no, no, okay, no lasers this time. All right, no laser. But I will do a uh, muzzle break. Actually, you know what? Let's make this uh, suppressed. Let's suppress this thing. So, uh, let's go with the Uzi suppressor. Nice, big, chunky suppressor for it. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, this is going to be pretty hard to shoot. I say that as I hit the first round. No, I missed. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. All right, I need more practice with these bolt actions. That's pretty good. Not much you can do about it. Just add a suppressor. But, uh, just move this there. Put that onto the vault. The vault. Vault. I said vault. <laughs> uh, did I scan this thing? There we go. All right. So those are most of the uh, rifles. I think I did rifles, right, for this video. Uh, all right, well, let me check the time here. Oops, and I think I might stop the video. Yeah, it's getting there. It's about like 28, 29 minutes. All right, I guess I'll stop it for today. And next time I'll try to do, uh, what else, support weapons, which is probably going to be pretty short because there's not much you can do. But, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.